Hello, my name is Tomasz Tolfa, and with me on stage, my co-founder, Ron Palmeri, and Rok, who's going to help me drive to the demos. When you're building a product, either you're a developer or a designer, what you should care most about is the experience you provide to your users. And today, you wouldn't build an entire map stack if you want to show something on a map, like a listing or a car riding towards you, your user. You wouldn't build the entire payment stack if you just want to collect a credit card payment. But you still have to rebuild the entire stack if you just want to send one message from one user to the other user of your application. Building communications is hard. I know. I've done it in my previous company. And we had to go through a whole set of problems to make it right. Authentication, security, synchronization across devices, handling offline messaging, doing push right, and this is all before you can even start worrying about infrastructure and scalability. Unless you are one of the big four, Google, Apple, Microsoft, or Facebook, you probably can't afford to get the best people in the world, spend enough time, and to run a globally distributed infrastructure to provide that great experience to your users. Today, we're introducing Layer. Layer is the open communications platform. It makes it really easy to add messaging, voice, and video to any mobile app or any web app out there. The Layer team is full of developers and designers that are passionate about providing the best communications experience in the world. We built companies like Vox.io, Grand Central, and OpenDNS before. Today, I want to show you three demos that will probably explain to you how easy it is to build stuff with Layer. So let's switch to the Elmo for a second. So Rock has three phones. The two white devices, or well, let's say the Android device and the white iPhone, are mine. The black one is Ron's. So I sent a message to Ron before coming on stage. He's just replying to me from his black iPhone. I got the message on my Android device instantaneously. All the states were synced. But my white iPhone was offline. So Rock is taking it back online. And what you'll see what happen when it gets a connection, all the message states, all the messages will get synced across all the three devices instantaneously. Is it online? Let's wait. Yes, we have it, right? So can we switch back to the slides for a second? Let's look at the code. If there are any developers in the room, you probably know this is not a piece of cake to the right. With Layer, this is all you need to implement this kind of functionality. Let's recap. Simple messaging offline and synchronization out of the box with just a couple of lines of code. Second demo, I want to show you calls on Layer. Can we switch back to the Elmo for a second, please? So we're going to make a high-quality peer-to-peer VoIP call, just a tap. We'll see that the connection times, even on this network, hopefully short. <laughs> OK, Wi-Fi is playing a trick on us. Let's try to redo that. OK, see, it connected instantaneously. And I cannot demonstrate to you the quality of the call, but you can trust me, it's as good as any VoIP service out there. And it's peer to peer. Our chief scientist was the CTO of Grand Central and later Google Voice. Can we go back to the slides, please? To implement that call, we just need this much of code. It's really easy to start and receive calls with Layer. And if you, took, if you paid attention to the UI, that is something we provide as an open source component so you can get started really quickly with messaging and calls. There is a third demo, so can we switch back to the Elmo, please? Each conversation you know, happens between several people, usually. But our address books are pretty messy. You know, I have Chuck Noland with a few entries, and I have Chucky as well, which I know is the same person, but it's the, you know, there are two entries, one is missing a photo, and so on. So we thought we could build a magic button that cleans up my address book in a really quick way, even if I have thousands of contacts. We're working with the computer science department at Stanford with Professor Yuri Leskovets to make this happen instantaneously, even on really, really large address books. Can we switch back to the, to the slides, please? So this comes free with Layer. OK, so we're done. With just a few Maybe just, lines of code. Yeah, you could probably pull Layer has a client-side part, which I mentioned, the Layer UI kit. 
and the SDK. The SDK handles authentication, security, sync, and offline messaging. But the really cool stuff happens on the cloud. We provide a whole set of cloud services from address book deduplication and disambiguation, message storage, message search, content extraction, spam filters, profanity filters, and many more. You can connect your backend to the Layer Cloud through our open API. Layer is globally distributed, and you can be sure that it that will work really well for your users. In the old world, where everyone built their homebrew solution, applications were contained in silos. With Layer, they can finally send messages among each other and interconnect, just like in the phone system. Layer is free to start, and we're going to help you sail through your launch and scaling because we price layer per volume, not per transaction, as do other communication companies that are based on the old telephony system, where you have to pay for each message and for each minute of call. During the past few months, we worked with a whole set of developers, ranging from healthcare application, applications to home sharing listings, to games, to dating sites, to refine layer. And today, we are opening our early access program to the first 50 developers, so you're welcome to sign up on layer.com. We are on a mission to make communication better for everyone through all the products they use. We are Layer. Thank you. All right. <laughs> layer. Judges? Any you want to jump in? I'll go. Uh, so why would I use this as opposed to integrating something like when Google launches Hangouts that you can integrate into your application? Why would I want to use this? Or when Apple does something similar with iMessage, which it may or may not do, but it seems like a logical thing. Well, first of all, one of the things that we're doing is this is not an ad-supported business model at all, at all. It's more like Amazon's web services. And so Apple has, an, obviously, a platform agenda with iMessage. It works extremely well for Apple um, products. Google has a, another operating system for mobile, which is obviously you know, some the, the important aspect of their business. Um, so we really see it's important to support iOS, Android, and the web with a non-ad-supported non business model that really lets the developers build their own value. And, and we think it's more consistent with their business model rather than the agenda of the major players. So uh, how do you imagine gaining adoption amongst developers? Yeah, so we worked with a close set of developers, friends, around 100 people right now, to refine the Layer SDK and the Layer APIs. They love Layer. And you'll see who's supporting us, people that have built amazing communications experiences and people that have built amazing products that already have communication built in them. Their problems are exactly the problems we are solving. So you know, if you hack a homebrew solution over a weekend, it will work. But you will still have to handle all those things before you, know, you have a great experience for them. So we are scaling this in two, two ways. We have a closed circle, the, the first 50 that are going to get on our early access program that we're going to work closely with for the next few months. And once we open this for everyone, we expect people to really start using the layer as decay to build new creative experiences on top of it. Of course, for each developer product, what you need to do is be really good at documentation, really good at support, really good at use cases. right? And what we want to provide on top of that is a whole set of UI examples, completely open sourced, that will help you get started. You know, we are good citizens in this developer ecosystem. We're going to contribute a lot back. That's why I believe people will appreciate that. What, what applications? Uh, can, can you talk about the applications that are using it right now? Yeah, so. You mentioned some categories, but. Unfortunately, I cannot. Okay. Uh, but I can well. talk about specific areas where, where yeah. this is, can be applied. Um, you know, many of the applications, and maybe home sharing is one example, or yeah. purchasing home, already have a way for people to communicate in them. The problem is that that is not spectacular. And if I give you an example, I mentioned a cloud service called Content Extraction. So when I share a link with someone, you know, today just a link comes across. But what you really want to get across is the web object that's behind that link. So if I share a link to a housing, want, probably want to get a photo of that or a location of that and so on. So Layer will enable those kind of experiences out of the box yeah. in a really easy way. So, so in terms of using Layer, I get the developer approach first. Is there any visibility out to the end user? Will they understand that Layer is out there? And then the second part of the question is, uh, over time, say I've adopted multiple applications that have Layer underneath, will I eventually have a relationship as an end user with Layer? Yeah, so uh, over, what we're doing initially is the developer can control, totally control their own domain. 
Um, we think it's super important, though, for both the developer and the individual to own their data. So um, one of the things we're, we're planning on doing is surfacing it, say, through preferences around which applications can access their address book, that sort of thing. But we're starting out slowly, very much making sure that each application domain can be its own thing. But also, we've talked to developers that really do want to have their apps interconnect. And if, as soon as you have that scenario, the user actually understands that there's something in the middle that they're using to connect the two. So we're going to brand. We're going to have a little bit of branding in the applications we power. Um, we have to figure that out. But mostly, the developers have been very acceptable of the layer brand. Uh, as you can see, it's really simple, and it's just like powered by layer. We should have that as a synonym, synonym for great communications in every product. Right. Do you imagine that this is something that developers will use to start out with and then move to an in-house solution later, or are they going to scale on layer? Yeah, that, that's a fantastic question. I mean, one of the things we spent a lot of time looking at is there have been companies that have been incredibly successful on platforms that are per transaction, either per SMS or per voice over IP call. And ultimately what happens is those companies become successful. They feel almost obligated to move off because of the cost. It's really important from our standpoint to be able to allow a company to scale broadly and, and, and have us provide this, this very reliable, globally distributed service for not so much money that they feel compelled to move. And I think it allows us to build more security and more globally distributed network sort of in aggregate across all users. That's really a little bit like the Amazon Web Services model. Um, we, we certainly would hope, though, that, that it, it, as the, sort of the network effect of interap interconnected applications happen, that there's a secondary benefit for people to be on the platform as well. You mentioned uh, reliability. That's obviously a big concern. So what sort of expectations are you setting with the developer community around uptime, and how are you preventing outages? I mean, we are very aware that if we provide one of the core features, basically, of many applications, our uptime needs to be close to the optimal uptime. Um, we are taking a lot of precaution in sort of designing the system and scaling the system initially to make sure that that's true. Um, we are thinking really deeply and deep into the basic architecture of the internet to place our data centers in such a way and to be on several hosting providers and so on so that we can assure that we are up most of the time. Um, yeah, and I mean, most meaning almost all the time. One of the core bits of DNA for the company are uh, open DNS guys that have built incredibly scalable, globally distributed networks. I mean, a statistically relevant percentage of the web's DNS. And it's not gone down in seven years. I mean, that's really deeply be held beliefs about way of you know, designing for reliability with redundancy. It's something that a, a, an individual developer probably can't do for themselves. Great. Uh, so we're out of time, but great job, you guys. That's Layer. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah.